Alright guys, what's going on? I'm actually using my tripod as a camera holder and it's pretty decent because I get some good angles. But um, yeah, anyway, welcome back to another video. Uh, as you can already tell by the title, we are going to be installing the little LED uh, indicator bulbs in the wing mirrors. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I just want to say quickly though, thank you for everyone that's smashing the subscribe button. If you haven't yet smashed it, make sure you are smashing the subscribe button and hitting that little bell right next to it and leaving a like on the video and also commenting what you think or just leave a little comment and maybe I'll reply. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to get straight into the install on the LED number. LED number? The LED indicator bulbs. So let's get into it. Alright, so the first part of the process is you want to obviously select the side mirror that you want to do. Uh, on my case it's the right side mirror, so the driver's side. You want to bring it all the way to the left. And then what you want to do is you want to bring it all the way down as well. So then that gives you access to the, the back of the mirror, which is obviously the inside of the indicator cap where the clips are. Uh, and we'll get to showing you that right now. Alright guys, so stupid old me forgets the bloody... Um, flathead screwdriver that I was going to use to try and get into these clips. So what I'm going to try and do is try to use my key to get this middle clip out, which is literally right in the middle there. Alright, so I thought the key was going to be long enough, but I found a pen in my car. Hopefully that will be able to push them. I can't believe I forgot the bloody... Right, well, I didn't break any clips, but I did have to tug on that clip a bit. Anyway, that little indicator bit was meant to stay here. That little indicator bit is meant to stay there, not attached to this bit. But anyway, once you've got that off, as you can see here, with my pen still stuck in there, that's broken. Um, all you've got is this little twisty bit that comes straight out. It's not even twisty actually, it just slides in. It literally just slides in and out like that. And it's just the exact same bulb as what you get um, in your number plate bulbs. Don't know if it's focusing, hopefully it is, trying to, but yeah. It's just the same bolt, and what I'll do is I'll get the, uh, the same bulb, not bolt. What I'll do is I'll get the other bulb and just replace it. And again, guys, once once again, these are just auto beam bulbs. These are the, obviously the auto beam um, indicator unit that I'd, I've been telling you about in a few videos. We just haven't got around to installing them yet. It's like the most easiest job to do, and I haven't picked up the freaking. I haven't wanted to do it not wanted to do it i just have been really lazy but anyway there we go there's the bulb um it should just it should work whichever way it goes in if not what we'll do is i'll try it where's my key uh we'll give it a landlock see that way doesn't work so you switch it around and we'll give it another unlock and there you go really bright i shouldn't have been looking at that uh, and all you got to do slide that straight back in to there oh the light just come off again there we go i think i have damaged the little clip in there no i, I just didn't clip it in properly there we go and that is that indicator done uh, and all you got to do I will show you now actually quickly you got this clip this clip and this clip and then on the back side here it's got a little square bit that obviously slots in to round the back here so what you want to do is just slot it in the back like that it's completely attached in the back and then clip it back in place and that is a hell of a lot easier getting it back on than it was getting it off 
So we'll go around to the other side and see how easy that side is. Right, so we are now on the other side, obviously. Um, I did forget to mention that down the bottom here, uh, I'll show you when I take it off, but there's a couple of little uh, slots that the, the, the red bit has to slot into. I'll show you that once I get it off, but we'll see how easy this one is to get off first. I haven't moved the mirror, so I'll go do that quickly. And there we go, and this thing's stuck to it again. It's only stuck because there's a little rubber seal around there and obviously where it's been sat on it so long, it's just bonded itself. But these do actually just slot in and clip in like that and stay in. But that was a hell of a lot easier, probably because this one, the clips are all still fine. But um, that little square bit here, it's not focusing. This little square bit right here, is actually broken on this one uh, and the little clips that I was on about on the back that I didn't show you on the other one they're actually all broken on this one too so that's probably why it came off easier and I can't show you the little clips either but you get the gist basically obviously you've got the back over here then you've got the bottom of the back which is these little clips right here which you can see where there's no red there and no red there obviously where the clips have broken off but anyway just remember them clips are there and don't break them off yourself. This one's only broke because this wing mirror has been hit by something. And it's been knocked off my car. Not by, while I was owning it. By the previous owner. But anyway, we'll get to changing the light over. Alright guys, the camera's a little bit on the wonk at the minute. But I just want to get a quick comparison. Obviously this side is uh, auto beam light installed. And this one's not. This one obviously just hasn't got the wing mirror cap on. Because it's down here on the floor. Um, the keys are in the car. God damn it. <laughs> So yeah guys, obviously both the indicators are on right now, you can't really tell the difference up here, but if you look down on the floor, you can obviously see the reflection of this indicator is a hell of a lot brighter than this one over here. So yeah, it's a hell of a lot brighter, you just can't see it front facing. You see it more on the floor next to the car. But anyway, let's get back to changing this light and putting the cap back on. Right, let me get them indicators turned off. Same process with the other side, slides out and gets pulled out and I'll put that in my pocket with the other bulb. And there's just a little trial and error with this again. Hopefully I've put that in the right way, let's test it. There we go. Don't know if I've seen the shot of the camera but yeah. We got it in the right way. And that is that one done as well. Now we'll just put the cap back on. So. Alright, so guys, it's a little bit darker now, as you can already tell. The lights are very bright. Uh, I feel like I'm miles away from the camera again, but it's good. And I'm hoping that my voice is being picked up okay. But that's it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. It's just a little short video. I thought I'd make it as an own separate video, just because I keep forgetting to add it in all the other videos. But anyway, I appreciate everyone smashing that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you are subscribing and liking the video and uh, I shall see you in my next one. Peace out guys.